Hello everyone, my name is Andy and welcome to a very special Friday unboxing. Today is August 12th, 22. And we have a couple of not acoustic guitars, I'll tell you that right away. Neither of these are acoustic guitars. Um, but they are both from two different guitar centers. I believe one Nashville and one, I want to say California. I don't remember what the other one's from. Uh, I have been very interested in things that are more into that Fender sound realm. Uh, my favorite guitar as of late is the Schecter Nick Johnston. Specifically the Nick Johnston HSS uh, Traditional, which is a Strat. It's beautiful. This I bought new from Guitar Center, because uh, this is definitely one that I wanted to make sure I played uh, before I took it home. That being said, I purchased both of these off of Guitar Center's website. These are both pre-owned, uh, in obvious part because they are not in Schecter boxes, but another spoiler, they're both Schecters. So I'm going to pause and we'll unbox each one, one at a time here. I'm not going to put you through the whole thing because I don't have the ability right now to do the speed up process, but just wanted to document that this one has a nice big dent in the box. These are both shipped by UPS recycled shipping box. So just uh, get myself a little bit of uh, evidence, I guess, if need be. Seems to be packed pretty nice and solid. We'll have to see which one this is. So no case on either of these. Oh, all right, so we're starting with I'll say the weirder of the two first, like bubble wrapped fairly intensely. All right, let's take a look. All right, more or less the moment of truth here. So this is definitely the more funky of the two. So this is, I, I do not know, I do not know what year this is, but this is a Schecter PT. Holy crap, this thing's heavy. I'll have to take a look at the serial number. Korean made, uh, Grover Tuners, nice. Uh, one thing about Guitar Center is that their pictures, their listings are trash, uh, nine times out of 10. So I basically had this one picture to go off of, but the big thing that took my attention or grabbed my attention was the fact that this old Tele style guitar has an Evertune in it. If you're not familiar, go check out other channels, look up the Evertune, it's pretty funky. Okay, cool. We do have a little bit of a heel carve there, if you want to call it that. Uh, belly cut, but no arm bevel. So fairly traditional in that tele sense. But let's just strum it once. Yeah, of course. That's a real nice representation of what an Evertune can do. Very nice guitar center. Thanks a lot. So we'll have to tune that sucker up and see if that's going well. This was three ninety nine. dollars um, and I believe I was able to get free shipping on that one. It's really pretty. Um, not as dinged up as the guy made it sound like. The body actually looks pretty nice. Um, so once again, as I said when I took it out, this thing is heavy. Uh, I don't know what kind of wood this is. Could be mahogany, could be swamp ash. But the Evertune has its own serious amount of mass. Sounds like the frets, frets could use a good cleaning. There's a little bit of rust on them too. Front ends feel fine. Neck is gloss. So this is completely unacceptable. You think they would take two seconds and just freaking <laughs> tune it up. So that'll be an adventure in itself. But uh, anyway, I've been interested in Tele style guitars. And for 400 bucks plus free shipping, so it was like 428 uh, this could be interesting. I've had one other Evertune equipped guitar that I no longer have. So on to the next one. So the cat, of course, has already made himself comfortable and at home in the other box below. Uh, this is the one I initially decided to purchase, and I purchased the one, uh, the other one that I just unboxed about a day later. Or, yeah, purchased about a day later. But fortunately, they both showed up at the same time. So let's see what we got here. Again, just kind of for evidence, just looking at the pack job. Okay, so from the Martin box, nice. Headstock coverage, 
and looks to be pretty solid in there. Obviously, this is much smaller than an acoustic guitar, and of course, it doesn't have a case either. So, let's pull this one out. So, let's bubble wrap with more paper. Sorry. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm excited for this one. And the semi gate reveal. Ooh, okay. So this is a Schechter PT Special. Pardon me. These have been out for, I think, just a handful of years. This is, I almost wanted to say more traditional telly, but you've got a P90 style neck in the, or I'm sorry, P style, P90 style pickup in the neck. Uh, normal style on the bridge, but then you've got reverse controls here with more of a small toggle as well as uh, push-pull for series to make these both humbucking um, This one was 449. So this is about 500 bucks out the door Sticker residue on that what I really like about this finish. Okay one We do have an arm bevel. That's one thing that drew me to this to the P90, just kind of a different take on the Telecaster. We do still have a uh, kind of a contour carve here. So once again, there were there were like five or six pictures of this guitar, which was kind of amazing, also from Guitar Center. Chip here that I did see uh, mentioned a couple other dings around. It's a little bit on the body. Anyway, uh, but the finish is more. It's not nitro, but um, you can feel this wood grain, which is really cool. So it probably ages a little bit better. Not technically roasted maple. I think this one's just, uh, I don't know if they call it tanned or just darker finish. So unlike the, the Nick Johnston, it's not um, roasted or baked or anything like that. Ouch. But a few other scuffs on the headstock. Oh, come on. Nothing terrible to write home about, but doesn't look like any brakes or anything. Let's see for fun. And of course, this is damn near in tune. And doesn't even have the Evertune. So that's a scary thought when it comes to the Evertune. So anyway, this is pretty much just where I'm gonna stop. Um, again, um, an unboxing video. We're gonna do a, two separate videos, uh, one for each and then maybe a quick comparison. Obviously, they're similar in their body shape. They happen to be the same brand, but that's kind of where the similarities end because we've got Schechter made pickups in the special. We've got, I believe, Duncan designed in this one. And I don't know if it was on purpose, but that bridge pickup is definitely put in backwards because the Duncan design logo is on the top of the pickup and upside down. So, um, and I don't believe any, no push ball on that. So yeah, more of a, more of a traditional style Tightly played. So each of these are an old school design that's been updated in some manner, um, which is kind of cool. Clearly, this uh, Evertune on the bottom guitar is not factory. You can tell by the routing inside there. Um, but I'm very excited to see what that thing can do. Um, fortunately, with Guitar Center, with pre owned stuff that's not vintage, uh, there is a 45 day return policy. My hope is to not have to utilize it. If I do, it's likely going to be on this one, but I got to tune both up and see how they sound. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for both of those videos. Again, out the door, 428, out the door, like 504. Uh, don't know what this retails for. Uh, again, this is an older PT. Uh, these, when you can find them, are still 699, which for a new guitar with all that it does, I think is very fair, but I like to buy, if you've followed my channel at all, you know that I like to buy pre-owned. I like to save money and I like to score deals on really cool stuff. So are these deals? Subscribe to find out. All right, take care everyone. Have a great weekend.